what's going on today hope everybody's doing really good uh, I'm just kind of running through my little uh, morning practice routine here and uh, you know it usually starts out like this if I practice a warm-up you know sometimes I'll just pour a cup of coffee and grab the guitar and... you now we all like doing that stuff too but I've been trying to uh, like work out a little bit of routine to start out with just to get my right side and my left side kind of locked together so usually it starts with you know this kind of boogie woogie thing you know two notes per string like <laughs> bazillion variations of that you know there's so many different ways you can do it so more than likely they've already been that's already been taken somebody's already done it but uh, this little thing that I just kind of stumbled onto was a little different and it was a little tricky to play honestly uh, I didn't play it that well in the front of the video here but uh, I'd like to show you it anyways it's kind of it's kind of tricky, like I said. It's not super difficult, but it might be something different that you guys aren't used to. And that's a good thing. It's good to get, honestly, I think you're, you know, if you're a right handed player, this hand is probably more important than this one. I mean, anybody can go like this, right? But this is what keeps it all locked in and locked together. So I've been trying to work on my right side a little more. Maybe not use my fingers all the time, so I may, you know, I play with my fingers a lot. That kind of stuff, so, you know, I don't get a lot of attention on my picking technique some days, so I'm trying to work on that as well. So anyway, this is how uh, this little thing come about. Uh, and, you know, maybe I can work it into a tune or something, who knows. I'll at least have it captured here, so... That's the first section. Or something like that. It's hard to tell when I'm playing it because I do it a little faster and I just, once I get it, I don't think about it. But uh, So anyway, what, what we're doing here is two hits on the E string. Okay, so stroke on the third fret E string and hammer on to the fourth so okay we're gonna come down to the A string in the second fret we're gonna hit that twice so up to the fourth fret on the A string one hit then we're gonna hit an up stroke at least that's how I'm doing it on the D string in the second that's kind of tricky. Now you could start this on an up stroke or you could still st do down ups and then kind of switch it up before you get to that note, right? So real slow. Sorry about that. We got to pick that note. So down, up, down, hammer, A string, second fret, twice, uh, once on the fourth string and then D string second fret. So let's just blow through that really quick. Now I hit it with a down stroke there, but I fingered this a little different here, so. Okay, now there's a little pause there after we hit this note. Upstroke, downstroke, twice on that string, I think twice on that one too. It's really hard to do this slow, but yeah, so it's two hits. We got, we get to that note. I 
that's what I'm doing. Uh, so two, you got two hits on the A. One went descending, okay? So. to do it slow if I can. Now take that slow and make sure you get the picking technique that works good for you. Now like I said, this can make a difference whether you start on a downstroke or an upstroke. Or you could start on a downstroke, and like I said, before you get to this note, which you could play with a downstroke, but it's more comfortable for me to hit it with an upstroke, and it gives me that pause for a second, okay? And, uh, you know, like I said, but, so that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Let's do it again really slow. Here we go. Oh, sorry. I told you it was tricky. to speed. Start slow, get the technique down, break the, the thing into two pieces if you have to. Just work that out and then, and then work the second piece out if that's what it takes. Uh, look like that. I would probably try to learn the whole thing though in one shot. Just do it really slow. thing. So anyway, uh, I thought that was kind of neat and and like I said it was I, I immediately liked it. I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. I like how that feels. Got a good shuffle thing going. Got a, something a little different, you know, with that. And uh, I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. So maybe I'll you know, try to work this out that could work in a tune or maybe I could write a tune with that or something. Uh, so that's just kind of how this stuff happens. It's a happy accident just from doing my warm-up routine. So, you know, that morphed into... That little pause just gives it that little touch of class, I think. It just feels... It feels... Like it's, uh, I don't want to say intelligent, but that's not the word. It's just, it just feels a little more complex than doing. Right? Which we hear all the time. Now somebody's probably already written that one too, so maybe I can't write a tune with it. But it doesn't matter. I like to play it. It sounds cool. And, uh... You know, like I said, it's just a good warm-up routine that's going to be added into my morning routine now. So I'll be starting with... Or whatever it is, I do variants of this constantly. So I usually pick one, start there, play it over and over and over for a while, and then maybe morph into something different. But... Uh, it's kind of cool. Now, the little pad I played with it was this. A. This is an inversion of a D. Very cool chords to know right here. I love this chord. I use it constantly. So what we have there is just G string in the second, B in the third, and the uh, D's in the fourth. Okay. 
So we went A to that, D, which is basically I'm playing a D chord right here. Well, let me just tell you the strings. D's in the fourth, the G, uh, B is in the fourth, and the uh, G's in the fifth. Okay, so we have A, D, okay, and then we just go to an A chord. I play those notes on top of it. You don't have to, so it's... Voice it however you want, but whoop. Whoop. Now, there's another cool trick. I don't know if you guys do this. Uh, I don't play a lot of country music, I really don't listen to a lot of country music. Uh, but I've always loved the technique of the guitar playing, okay? The chicken picking, the playing with your fingers. Uh, I must have got that. I know my, my father still plays like that. And uh, my first concert was Chad Atkins when I was like 14, 13, 14. And I, could, I just couldn't believe the stuff he could do using his fingers and a thumb pick. It just blew me away. Uh, not just this kind of stuff. It wasn't just that. I mean, he was blazing stuff. It was... I'd never seen Chet Atkins play like that on television or anything. I mean, pretty pretty reserved, the stuff he did on, like, TNN and those uh, country stations. Just mind-boggling how good he could play. Uh, it completely blew my mind. So, you know, that's where this come in. And, uh, you know, so eventually I, I use my fingers so much that I, you know, I have to stop myself some days and just say, no, we're playing with just a pick today. And I'll play everything that I play with a pick within reason uh, just to make sure I can, you know, I got to keep them chops together. I don't know if you guys have ever tried holding the pick with your middle finger and just kind of letting that on there, you know, let your pointer just kind of lay on. Uh, I know Eddie Van Halen did that quite a bit. Um, I, try it. I mean, really, it's... Uh, I honestly think it's more accurate when you're playing fast. Try it. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, I seem to have a lighter touch versus pinching it like this sometimes. So I'm always swapping. I'll flip it around. I'll play with the shoulder of the pick, which is smoother too. There I go with my fingers again, but I can't help it. It's, it's just something that's going to stick with me forever. So... But there are some cool things with picking up, especially a telecast. I don't know if you guys, you know, experiment with this, but I'm on the bridge pickup, right? Now, you know, depending on how way you rest your hand, if you're muting with your palm or the, you know, the, the heel, the cheek of your palm, um, you know, that's questionable. Uh, it's not going to like answer all these questions but if you try you know for the most part just relax I grab the guitar my hand kind of rests on the saddles so I will kind of slide up and mute these strings sometimes with you know the cheek of my palm but now depending where you pick on a Telecaster there's a lot of tone in this thing without even moving the selector I mean you can get it up here. It's fatter, it almost sounds like the neck pickup. Now you come back and in between them. Right? Now if you play right in front of the pickup, you can hear it starting to get a little more spank to it. Now let's play behind the bridge pickup. 
Now this is where you get the honky country stuff. <laughs> See guys do that a lot, pick back here, which basically I just kind of put my hand behind the, the bridge and now when I slide my hand up into the normal position, it's quite a bit of difference as far as the bass response and So there it is, folks. Uh, you know, that's almost like having a pedal. And, you know, this isn't just on a telly either. You, <clears throat> this, this really should be experimented with on a lot of different guitars uh, once you think about it. And that's something that I just never think about because when I sit down, I grab the guitar and boom, there it is. I don't look where I'm playing. I, I never do. Just don't. Unless it's a strat with a middle pickup and I'm and I'm hitting it with a pick, which happens. But what I do is just kind of reposition my hand and kind of ride the uh, volume knob with my pinky on a uh, strat, and that just kind of keeps me positioned in between the middle and the bridge. Okay. So you know it's something that I'm sure a lot of you guys never think of, like. But try that, you know? So many sounds. You get this nice, fat, mellow. Pretty amazing, really, uh, you know? And some guitars, you can't play back here behind the bridge pickup. Or even right over it is pretty nice. You know, I do hit it, but whatever. This is a flat pull, uh, so it doesn't really bother me. But anyway, I thought I'd share that with you guys. I hope I at least delivered the uh, lesson so you guys could understand it. Uh, it's tricky teaching that kind of stuff. It really is. I should get one of those things where, you know, you play and it just spits out the notes right on the computer screen for you. But, you know, I'm old and uh, unskilled with computers for the most part, so we'll see. Maybe I could, you know, have some, like, five-year-old kid teach me how to do it. You know, they know how to do all that stuff. It's crazy. Uh, well, anyway, folks, uh, I really uh, appreciate all the views and all the new subscribers. And uh, one more thing. Keep, keep my old man in mind. He's uh, got a bad kidney stone. He's got to head to the hospital today and uh, have it removed. It's pretty big and he was in some pain. So, you know, if you would give a shout out to the big guy for him. I really appreciate it. And I know he would too. He'd do the same for any one of you. That's just the way he is. Uh, so anyway, folks, thanks again. I really appreciate all the support, like I said, and uh, I hope this helps. You know, again, you know, the mistakes are there, but it's really just about the concept. I don't really care about making mistakes. I, it, it happens. You guys do too, and so don't professional players. Everybody makes mistakes. Just not everybody posts them on YouTube. Keep that in mind, okay? I don't really care. So, uh, in any case, like I said, I just want to get the, uh, you know, the mechanics to you guys so you can kind of try it and, and work on it. Maybe come up with something yourself, you know? That's kind of how this works with me. If, if I get an idea and just start, you know, vamping on it, a lot of times I'll start to hear other things as I'm doing it. I don't change rate at first, but it always seems to lead me down a different path. Uh, some of them are great, and some of them are, are excellent. You know, you just never know. So, uh, you'll tell me, boy, it's hard to beat this guitar. I, I, I have a hard time walking by this. Uh, I own, I don't know, probably 70, over 70 guitars here now. And this one just, it follows me around like a cat. You know what I mean? 
it's just a great guitar and uh, I, I'd have to probably go through a pile of two or three hundred to find one like this. I mean this one just really suits me and I just love the feel and tone of it. So anyway, thanks again folks. I'm all done yakking and blabbing. We'll see you guys real soon. Be good. Okie doke.